It's like whack-a-mole exposing all of these Trump and MAGA scams. So we at the Midas Touch Network, of course, exposed rapid response that when Donald Trump spoke at that Detroit church, which they billed as Donald Trump speaking at a black church before 8,000 people. It was a small church embroiled in litigation. All of the people that were in there were primarily white. It's like 90% white people wearing MAGA hats and chanting Trump's name, being very disrespectful to a house of worship. And we called it out, we exposed it. Then we exposed how Donald Trump walked across the street and was at an event that was hosted by Charlie Kirk. I mean, that part was known, so it was like we exposed that Trump went to the event. Uh, but what we exposed is that at the event, we focused everybody's attention on it. This was Charlie Kirk's event. Charlie Kirk is like the youth organizer for MAGA. Big, he's like one of the top MAGA influencers out there. He said that MLK Day should be abolished. The Civil Rights Act should be abolished. He said that black people shouldn't be pilots and he wouldn't trust a black pilot. He goes on and says horrific things like that, or horrible things like that. So then Trump goes from the fake black church event to Charlie Kirk's event. And then there are like signs there and signage throughout this event that says white boy summer. And the people are wearing pink hats that are white boy summer hats and that that's what's taking place at that event. So we called that out. Then hat tip to Rachel Maddow, because I'm glad that she's calling this out. A lot of other uh, corporate media isn't, but she's using her platform to speak truth to power as always. So she then ran a segment on Charlie Kirk's history and she used a lot of the footage that we dug up over the years. So um, I'm glad that we could be of, of use there. Um, because I just want to call out this behavior. Um, but then what Charlie Kirk did in response was he posted the following. So we've got, this is where it's whack-a-mole. Charlie Kirk goes, tonight at Rachel Maddow on MSNBC, did an entire segment calling me a racist. Typical leftist smear. Black Americans know better. They are waking up. Democrat propaganda isn't working anymore. And they're panicking. What's the propaganda? You rented out a black church with white people in there and then claimed it was uh, this was like a black church event. There wasn't 8,000 people. It was like 200 people at the event. I mean, you said that black people shouldn't be pilots and you wouldn't trust black pilots. You've made horrific comments about Martin Luther King and MLK. I mean, I could show you the statements that you made, but... Um, Donald Trump could not be closer to anyone. I mean, Charlie Kirk's as probably closer to Donald Trump than Melania. Um, I'll show you just in a minute some of those links. But so here's what Charlie Kirk posts. Um, and so I assume he's saying that he has black friends and therefore nothing that he says is racist if he has black friends. So that, that's I, presumably that's the point he's trying to make. Well, we had our editorial team at MidasTouch.com do some digging and we said, okay, who are these people next to Charlie Kirk? And it turns out they basically all work for him. They are his employees. He pays them. And this is what we're seeing. Paid operatives over and over again doing publicity stunts. It's also never a good look when you're trying to justify that by saying, hey, look at my black friends. I'm just, it's just ridiculous. So anyway, uh, that's Charlie Kirk's photo right there. Then we showed who these people are. Um, let's go through who these people are. Stephen Davis and Anthony Watson. Um, numbers two and uh, person number two, person number three here um, are both. They both work at Turning Point USA. They are contributors to the network. These are the hype men at Charlie Kirk's events and also create content content skits for Turning Point USA. Then you have uh, in the fourth position, Nicole Von Schell is a Blexit director. Brandon Tatum is also a Blexit co-founder along with Candace Owens. Topher is a MAGA rapper. They have MAGA rappers now. And Savannah Craven both worked at Blexit events as MCs, uh, we'll keep going down the list of people who were there. Gothic and Craig Long were both featured Blexit speakers in Detroit. 
un unidentified individual labeled number one above was wearing a VIP badge for the Blexit event. Lastly, you have the MAGA rapper in this photo, another MAGA rapper named Sean Olivo, who was in the photo in front of Charlie Kirk. Olivo goes by the stage name DVS 7.0 and once flipped over a table at a mobile COVID testing uh, location. Uh, this was in May 23rd, 2024. This is who is friendly, I suppose, with Charlie Kirk and how Charlie Kirk's saying that, um, that, that he, I don't, I don't know what, will you tell me what he think he's trying to say? But the, this, this is, this is Sean Olivo here. Play this clip. <laughs> So as you can see, everyone above is either associated with Charlie Kirk's group or they're on Kirk's payroll, or in the case of Sean Olivo, make money off selling Trump-themed MAGA rap songs. They're not random people who just happen to flock to Charlie Kirk for a photo. These are employees and MAGA influencer types. Kirk didn't disclose this information along with the tweet. Um, and then we also showed one of the MAGA operatives, Michaela Montgomery, who Donald Trump hugged at the Chick-fil-A, who was also at the Detroit event, who is also at Mar-a-Lago and um, is in multiple photos with Donald Trump that the campaign uses to show over and over again. Look, Donald Trump has the support of black women because this one black woman gave him a hug. Um, is what they tried to say. She worked with Candace Owens and uh, Charlie Kirk as, as well. Um, she works for their organization or worked for their organization. She's a Republican uh, operative. She works for the Republican Party or worked for the Republican Party. Um, okay, here's Donald Trump talking about Charlie Kirk, just so you see how close they are together. Here, play this clip. Uh, and I want to thank a special person, Charlie Kirk, for his tremendous leadership as well as everyone at Turning Point Action for making this event possible. They're really helping with the election. They're doing a phenomenal job, I you Also, You see photos of them as well. There's, I mean, they're, they're as close as you get. Um, and I'll just, here's what Charlie Kirk says about pilots. Play this clip. And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now. Thank you. No, I mean, about like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, well that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done that before. That's not who I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, I'm, Another uh, comment by Charlie Kirk here. Play this clip. A lot of them are on birth control, too. And birth control, like, really screws up female brains, by the way. Every single one of you need to make sure that your loved ones are not on birth control. It increases depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation. Uh, birth control is the number one most prescribed medication for young ladies under the age of 25. They, they, they will give birth, young ladies birth control for pimples, for acne, for to control their moods, their period. It is it is awful. It's terrible, um, and it creates very angry and bitter young ladies and young women. Um, that then that bitterness then uh, manifests into. Um, a political party that is the bitter party. I mean, the Democrat party is all about bring us your bitterness and, you know, we'll give you free stuff. It's like, we'll trade you, you know, bitterness for stuff, essentially. That's like the yeah. Democrat party. I'll give you one more video by Charlie Kirk here, play it. Most people would think that color blindness is in the civil rights act, but it's not. Well, so the literal text implies it doesn't say colorblind but it says no, don't I know, discriminate but, but on but race. That's, that's, the, that's the moral promise that most people would think but instead you get this anti-racist beast. Exactly. And I just want to make sure if you support it, that's okay. We're not criticizing you. We ask you to reconsider the reality of what it actually is, not this abstraction that you've been living under. That, that's who heads the youth outreach 
uh, for for Trump. Um, there you have it. It's, it's important to call out who's in these photos, and we're gonna we're gonna keep on giving you that rapid response over and over again. Anyway, hit subscribe. We're on our way to three million subscribers thanks to your support. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at midastouch.com/newsletter.